Built into MailChute is the ability to create a mailing list signup form that you can embed on your website. This allows your website visitors to be able to fill in a quick form and sign up to your mailing list. In order to create the mailing list signup form, also known as a subscribe page, open up your mailing list by clicking on mailing lists and selecting the mailing list you want to create a subscribe page for. With the mailing list window open, click on the subscribe page button. The create subscribe page window will open. In this first step, I'll need to give my list a name. I'm going to call it Jeremy's Golf Shop. The list's short name will be what is used in your signup forms URL. This name must be unique across all MailChute users, so I'll just add some random digits to the end of it to ensure that it is unique. You can do the same if you'd like, or you can click on this check button to see if what you have entered is unique or not. Next, I'll enter a password for my list, followed by a list description. In the Owner's Details section, I will need to fill out all of these fields. The owner email is especially important as this is the email address that users will see when they sign up to the mailing list. The welcome message can be customized to your liking or you can leave it as is. In the Customs Fields section, you will need to tick off whichever custom fields you want included on your signup form. In another tutorial in this series, I customized some of the field names to include these three fields, so I will tick them to make sure they appear on the signup form. You can choose from four different types of fields that you want to use. You can also input a default value for each field, as well as indicate if you want the field to be a required field or not. In the link section, here is where we will get our code for embedding the form on our website. I'll simply press the publish button and the embed code will appear. You will also notice that two links appear. The first link will take us to the subscribe page. The second link will take us to the unsubscribe page. When you create your form, click on these links so you can see firsthand what your subscribe and unsubscribe pages look like.